Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer, and today we're going to be talking about really mobilizing the femur head in the hip socket on all fours. So finding that parallel position, um, increasing it in hip flexion, finding it again, going into internal rotation and extreme internal rotation, bringing it out, and then a very extreme external rotation. And all the videos that led up to this one kind of prep us for this exercise. So Christine is helping me and she's gonna come on to all fours, hands and knees. Good, so first, she's preparing herself going into that working starting position where the head is on the spine, she has the neutral shoulder blades, that elongated lumbar spine, but with the tail released up and the sitting bones wide. So again, that deep belly is activated the whole time. Now from here, I'd like her to stretch her right leg into the distance with the toes under you at first. Good, so she has this uh, sitting bone to heel connection. And then on her exhale, she's thinking about the fishing hooks from her upper inner thighs, reeling the leg up. And she's imagining that she's dropping that right hip bone down, yes, as the leg comes up. Now from here, on the exhale, she's gonna bend her right knee in. She's gonna round the back. The knee's gonna go towards the nose. So she's gonna do a really deep rounding. She can even put the toes here on the mat that gives her a little bit more leveraging that she can really open up that lumbar spine. That feels good, right? Mm -hmm. And then on her next exhale, the right leg's gonna stretch back out and she's gonna find her neutral. She's gonna find that sitting bone to heel connection. You can flex through this foot. She can find the, that inner thigh lifting and the right hip bone dropping. And now on her exhale, she's gonna bring this right knee to the left elbow. But I want her upper back and her head to stay the same. So right knee to the left elbow right knee to the left elbow, good. And so we're really encouraging more of an internal rotation here. And then on her next exhale, the leg's gonna go straight out, heel in line with her gluteal fold, flex the foot, good, drop the right hip bone and lift there, nice. Really trying to elongate the lumbar spine. And now on the exhale, this little frog position. So her knee's gonna go out towards me. She's gonna bend the knee, really pressing into that left arm. Good, now here's the granny panty line again. It doesn't really matter how much she gets the knee up. Flex the foot here. But I want her to drop the right hip bone down and with the right hip bone drop down, think about lifting the outside of the right knee up towards the ceiling, press into that left hand. Can you lift the tail? Can you lift your sits bones? There you go. And then bring the leg all the way back out. Find that straight parallel position again, heel to sits bones, dropping that right hip down, lifting the right inner thigh up, pulling up in your deep belly. Good, and then gently bringing the knee back in and then you can sit into child's pose. And so we did that really slow because I was showing her each position and eventually when the client gets the, gets the feel of the exercise, you can speed that up a bit more. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.